Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama passes away at age 68 from reported acute subdural hematoma, which is uh, basically uh, brain like a head trauma that uh, resulted in uh, brain bleed. And uh, yeah, he died from that 68, which is really sad. And uh, yeah, um, it's like I actually like I was talking about it yesterday when I was streaming and I'm like, man, this actually like I actually teared up like I didn't think it was going to hit me that hard. Yeah, right. I, it's like, I mean, if it's if it's all the way back from there, that if a person is that influential, thing, I mean, you you can't you can't help yourself but to cry if that person was that influential in your life. So I get yeah. it. Yeah, man, it's a uh, it's a uh, definitely uh de definitely sad for sure. Yeah, uh, in a moment that truly no fan ever really fathomed would come, famed Dragon Ball uh, creator Akira Toriyama has passed on to the other world. So that's what they called like the afterlife and stuff like that. But yo, Justin Martins with the five gifted memberships. Yo, thank you, thank you. Holy shit, man. Yeah, you, you guys don't need to do that. You guys just, just, just hang out and, 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 and watch and watch us. <laughs> <laughs> but holy shit, man. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate thank it, appreciate it. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh it's it's crazy, but and a lot of people who are like, um, well, uh, it doesn't really matter anymore since you could just use the dragon ball to wish someone back, like I am. It's like Akira Toriyama is one of those people I, that I wish that like, like that's still alive. It's like it's it's, it's a this sort of I yeah, have to say sixty-eight. It's not even that old in my opinion. It's not even no, that it's old. not. And the thing is, uh, I this is the same feeling. Probably, I, I would say this hit me a little harder, but it's the same the same shock, the same type of shock I had when Michael Jackson died. All right, and Michael Jackson passed away in like what, I don't know, like. 2009 2010 or something and uh yeah it's it, it's the same feeling but this one hurts a little bit more since um like i said like if it wasn't for dragon ball like i wouldn't i wouldn't have became an artist like it, it's like you know like i i love i love the fact that like i i love how the character designs looked back then when i was a kid yeah i, I love the big hair the big shapes yeah it's, it's art style is kind of timeless that's why chrono trigger dragon quest they're still highly revered up to this day it's because it's yeah. it's 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 not something that upscaling will ever diminish its uh, visual impression. Th that's, mm -hmm. that's just how it is. Yeah. Let's see. Um, the news of the famed mangaka passing was first uh, broken on March 7th, courtesy of the official Dragon Ball website. We are deeply saddened to inform you that manga creator Kira Toriyama passed away on March 1st due to acute subdural hematoma. Read the news update co authored between the Dragon Quest co creators, own Bird Studios, and newly founded entity in charge of Dragon Ball IP Capsule Corp, uh, Corp uh, Capsule Corp uh, Tokyo, which is actually pretty funny to name their company Capsule Corp, which is great. Um, great, if you don't know, Capsule Corp is actually owned by Bulma, which is the richest person in Dragon Ball in the Dragon Ball universe. She's mm. like a she's like a trillionaire, she's like Elon mm. Musk times 10. It's like she. It's like it's crazy. She's so smart, mm -hmm. and like that's the reason why people are like, "Oh, yeah, Dragon Ball is such a you know, it's st stupid. They don't have any strong females." I'm like, "Bitch, Bulma is one of them," <laughs> and of course, Android 18 and um, and and a whole bunch of others. But yeah, it's a. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue reading. You see, uh, it's our deep regret that he still had several works in the middle of creation with great enthusiasm. The update continued. Also, he would have many more things to achieve. However. He has left many manga titles and works of art to this world. Thanks to the support of so many people around the world, he has taken, uh, he is sorry, he has been able to continue his creative activity for 45 years. Man. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's sad, dude. Like, uh, like, like whenever I would like watch something, like, so I think, I think, uh, uh, Perry Chan, uh, Nerdrotics editor, put a, um, a video up of uh dan vask singing the chala head chala song which is the dragon ball z theme mm. and uh he did an edit over it and um it's basically from dragon ball dragon ball uh dragon ball z to dragon ball gt and uh man it's a uh, it's it's very it's very well done and it's uh it's sad it's uh, and the thing is that we um what we got the the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh passed away not long ago. The creator of Berserk passed away not long ago. It's like we're it's sort of like everyone's getting older. Yeah, like all of these things that you, that, that you love that you love growing up, it's getting older, man. It's a uh, yeah. This 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 doesn't hurt hurt me a lot, dude. 
Like, and I know that, and I knew that people around the world love Dragon Ball, but the group of people that I didn't know love Dragon Ball probably more than I do was the people in like Latin America, like Mexico, like, like South America. They love Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, which is crazy. Right. And it does make sense. It's because, um, Dragon Ball, I never considered Dragon Ball an anime. Like I considered it a cartoon. Right, because I had no idea what an anime was back then. Right, yeah. I first started, yeah. I started watching it when I was like five, and I was like, "Oh, I really like this." I didn't know it was from Japan, and um, and then uh, I, I guess I came to uh, to uh, I leave their local channel, Channel Five, in, in Mexico or something like that, and they started watching it. It's huge, yeah. It's huge down there, uh, uh, everywhere, really. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's it's crazy. Yeah, a person from uh, NFS Carbon passed away, uh, this uh, this month. Man, yeah. Everyone is like. Passing away, man. I'm sad. I'm actually sad. But yeah, uh, let's see. Let's go and continue. So this is basically, um, if you guys don't know, this is uh, the, at the end of Dragon Ball Z when the Majin... Oh, Gray, I'm going to ruin it for you, all right? I'm, I'm going to ruin this for It's you. fine. It's it's so huge that I think it'll... And I would probably forget anyway. <laughs> yeah, so um, so this black kid over here, um, I, I, a lot of people say he's black. Um, it's a reincarnation of uh, Kid Buu. And it, this is like his human form. And at the end of the uh, Dragon Ball Z, he was like, okay, um, I'll be your your master and stuff like that. And we'll go train. And then they fly away. And then basically that's how Dragon Ball ends. Right? Goku and his friend have had some glorious adventures, but I'm afraid this is all we can show you. Uh, <laughs> there will surely be more trouble along the way, but somehow they'll always get through and the Dragon Balls will be uh, there for them. And basically that's the end of Dragon Ball. Uh, and I'm uh, sorry, Dragon Ball Z, which is in back in 1995. Man, I was eight. No, no, seven. I was seven here. Man, ooh, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, Chinese mythology. But yeah, it's um, but the thing is, uh, what what pisses me off the most is like how like a bunch of stuff that's been coming out that people are like hating on him and like shitting on uh, on, on you know spinning basically spinning on his grave, you know, metaphorically. Yep. Yeah, and it's um, yeah. And, and and it's it's so it's so insane that how people can do that to so, like someone who is like beloved, right? If if it wasn't for him, One Piece wouldn't have been created. Naruto yeah, all, would have been created. Many right? many of our entertainment today wouldn't have followed suit because mm -hmm. Dragon Ball was like kind of like the inspiration into what into their projects. Man, look at yeah. Chrono Trigger. Damn, look at that. It's like, like I played it on stream last year. It's so good. The game still holds up. And uh, yeah, I well, uh, here, no, so I'm not sure about I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm not sure if it's a good idea if I start I start watching Dragon Ball with that. <laughs> yeah, don't watch Dragon Ball Evolution. Okay, chat. Um, I will make a uh, a video of me watching uh, a reaction, not a reaction video, like a like a review video of this, is because this is awful. And this is this is the thing that basically made Akira Toriyama come out of retirement. It's like, all right, stop this bull crap. Let's let's get that. Let's get back. Let's get back to business. What is that? This is drag. This is Piccolo. This is Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is awful. And the thing is, as produced by 20th Century Fox, and it's owned by Disney, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, but uh, but yeah, it's um, yeah, he he he's gonna be missed, man. He's such a such an inspiration, and like Oda, uh, came out a couple of days ago with uh, and uh, 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 Kishimoto came out a couple of days ago, um, giving their um, you know their their thoughts and what they thought like happened with the news of uh, him passing, and yeah, like I remember I told I I, I like I told my brother yesterday or a couple of days ago, like I'm pretty sure Goku has passed um has checked in. In, in, into other world and uh passed by uh king yemma with his mahogany desk and uh he's he's right now got approval to go train with king kai after getting past snake way and uh yeah it's uh i'm gonna miss him man uh he, he, like i actually did a dry I, I okay i actually originally was going to do a our, our thumbnail our thumbnail with um a caricature of you looking like a dragon ball character oh okay. but i was like but for me, I'm like, I'm not sure if I, um, if I, uh, what's it called again? Uh, if I, um, if, if 
I can make myself look different enough. But like I ended up making you sort of look like Gohan a little bit. Oh really? So uh, <laughs> yeah, I actually ended up you making look uh, making you look like Gohan a little bit is because like a Gohan wears glasses, right? So like I want to make sure that like uh, hold on, let, let 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 me actually bring this up. Let me actually so 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 the chat can see what I'm talking about. All right, so basically, I I did. <laughs> oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this, this this sort of looks like Gohan, so I'm like, ah, forget it. And the thing is, like, my character uh, is basically like I have to make my eyes really small, and and I'm like, I'm just gonna end up looking like Brock from from Pokemon. So I'm like, forget it, forget forget it. I'm not doing it anymore. So, uh, but yeah, so 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 if if Gray was a Dragon Ball Z character, he'll he'll, he'll basically sort of look like Gohan. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's actually really good. Yeah, yeah, but uh, how, how how do you feel about uh, his passing, man? Like, uh, uh, given the fact you didn't really grow up with uh, watching Dragon Ball, yeah, I like didn't, that. but I understand how he impacted so many people's lives. So even even back then, even back in the day, elementary, high school, call I hear some of my classmates talking about Dragon Ball. So I, if it's all the way here in the Philippines, if it's that big, I imagine it's also much bigger in many parts of the world. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's a sad day for many of the. Uh, many fans of dragon ball and, and yeah i try to empathize as much as i can yeah like i i hope his son takes over i know that he did the most of the creative direction and he directed i believe dragon ball super superhero the one with gohan like gohan in mm -hmm. his story so and the fact that dragon ball daima is going to be coming out man that movie is gonna gonna be a slot man people are gonna watch that movie and the end of the movie says like in memory of Kira Toriyama, people are going to be crying in the theaters, man. I'll be one of those people crying. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.